Ho, ho, let's pick up my guests. It's international megastar, Dame Edna Everidge. Reigning America's Got Talent winner, Paul Zerdin. Irish comedy hero, Dara O'Brien. The legendary, Sir Tom Jones. Singing sensation, Ellie Golding. And a whole host of Christmas treats and surprises. Tonight, on my big Christmas show. Are you okay at the top, everybody up there? Very good. You there and the next one. <laughs> yes, what about you guys? Come on. The stalls. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. Feeling that. Uh, so this show, ladies and gentlemen, is going out on Christmas Day itself. Christmas Day. Yes. <laughs> There's such a magic, isn't there, to that day. It's very different doing a Christmas show leading up to Christmas as opposed to doing it on Christmas Day. It's such a special, magical day. There's such a build-up to it that when you're in it, you can't even believe that you're in it. <laughs> you, know, you, you open the curtains and you're like, that's my road. <laughs> on Christmas Day. <laughs> Sometimes you see other people, look at that man walking his dog. On Christmas Day. <laughs> Morning pee <laughs> on Christmas Day. <laughs> Sometimes you, you visit relatives, you see other people in their cars, you look at them at the traffic lights, look at them! <laughs> on Christmas Day! There's an aeroplane in the sky on Christmas Day! <laughs> and this goes through the whole day. And you go to bed when you're just drifting off to sleep, going, oh, that's the end of Christmas Day! <laughs> And then all the magic completely disappears overnight. <laughs> and the next day, you're just walking along going, I'm going for a walk. <laughs> On Boxing Day. <laughs> it's gone! The magic is gone! And then, quite frankly, you are into the strangest six days of the whole year. <laughs> It is six days between Christmas Day and New Year's where nobody quite knows what's going on, who they are. <laughs> you don't even know what day it is. We get so confused by they've started to change... The, the days aren't called Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now they're called, you know, Boxing Day, Christmas Eve, so you lose track of it. And you're so full and hungover as well. People just wandering around in the days. <laughs> what day is it? I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> are the shops open? Do the shops open? <laughs> Started. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Should I start my diet today? Do I start it today? <laughs> is there post today? Does the post come back? <laughs> Can I park here today? What day is it? Can I park here? <laughs> when do the bins get taken away? <laughs> I've never had more rubbish in my life. <laughs> Can I eat this bit of the turkey or is the turkey finished? Can I have this bit of the turkey? <laughs> what time is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang on? <laughs> Nobody knows what they're doing. Also, all the stuff that you get for Christmas, what happens to it? What happens to it? I know we get big presents and it's exciting, but there are certain things that I don't remember throwing away, but I never see them again <laughs> after Christmas Day. Everything I or anyone in my family has ever won in a cracker, where is it? <laughs> where does it go? I have no recollection of binning it, but I've never had anybody, nobody has experienced somebody at any stage of the year just saying anything along the lines of, 
Does anyone fancy a game of mini cards? Mini cards? <laughs> I find the full-size deck a little bit overwhelming. Can we just play with the tiny cards? I'm, sli I'm almost at my baggage allowance, so I bought my miniature cards that I won at Christmas. <laughs> Why measure the whole carpet when we can measure this section and guess the rest? <laughs> With my mini tape measure, I won at Christmas. <laughs> Does anyone have the tiniest amount of sewing I could attend to? Not a lot of sewing. <laughs> Not a rip or a tear, just a fray. <laughs> so anyway, how are you? Let me consult my mini coloured curly fish. <laughs> it's curling up at the sides. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to tell you that we're going for an absolutely sensational night's entertainment tonight. Are you up for that? <laughs> it's so lovely to be here amongst you. It's such a beautiful theatre. And I've got to be honest, there is, um, as you well know, a... <gasps> There's a raw box. And just for fun... I thought I would write to Buckingham Palace and ask if there was any chance that the Queen herself could attend tonight. If you don't ask, you don't get. Well, I did ask, and I didn't get. But amazingly, <laughs> amazingly, I got a reply. I actually got a reply from Buckingham Palace. So I thought I'd read this out for you. Here we go. Um, my royal appointment. <laughs> Dear Michael, um, thank you so much for your kind invitation, but Her Majesty has an engagement of national importance that she simply must attend. However, <laughs> Prince Philip is a huge admirer of Michael McIntyre and indeed of Chinese comedy in general. <laughs> Therefore, we have arranged to send the only other equally high-ranking dignitary in the world to stand in for the Queen on this occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, what an absolute privilege it is to welcome... It's David <laughs> Christmas possums! <laughs> oh, Michael, you are deservedly popular, darling. Thank you really, really are. The Queen sends her apologies. Uh, she couldn't be here tonight, and the reason is that she actually didn't want to be here tonight. She said, <laughs> she said wild horses won't drag me to that show, Edna. <laughs> She's a big fan of Michael's. Michael Flatley. Michael York. Michael Jackson. Michael Kane. Princess Michael of Kent. Michael... <laughs> Michael Mouse. <laughs> but she doesn't... She's actually never heard of you, Michael. <laughs> she hasn't, I'm afraid. Oh, oh yeah, I know. But to me, to me, you are all those Michaels wrong into one, and when Thank I you. say rolled, I mean rolled. <laughs> I do. What? No! There's a beautiful atmosphere here tonight, and I'm in the royal box. You've never been here, have you? I haven't. I doubt it. Why would pleasure. you? I mean, under what circumstances would you be here? <laughs> There's corgis have been here. <laughs> There's been an orgy of corgis here. <laughs> that might oh. oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> OK, David, would you, do you mind if I start the show? You may, darling. Please be my guest, and I'll sit here in the royal throne, which has a reclining facility. <laughs> The Queen likes to have a little snooze during those Royal Command performances. But wake me up if there's anything entertaining. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> <laughs> what an absolute treat tonight! Dave Ed is with us! <laughs> OK. So, Christmas is all about fun and games, and a little game that some of you may know that I like to play is called Send to All. <laughs> I have to say, this game is always hilarious, and we're going to play it tonight. 
Basically, I need someone in the audience with a mobile telephone and a sense of humour. I'm going to send a message of my choosing to every one of their contacts in their phone, just so you know what you're getting yourself into. And we'll see throughout the show what replies we get. So who here is up for it? Who wants to play centre all tonight? If you just put your hand up. Some people putting other people's hand up. Um, you are up for it. This is good. All right, I'm coming in. I'm coming down. I'm, I'm, I'm coming down. Um, what's your name, my friend? Dan. Dan. Yes. Dan. So you're up for a laugh? Yeah. What do you do for a living, Dan? Uh, business development in a 24-hour call centre. <laughs> Business development in a 24-hour call centre. Yeah. This basically means you're unemployed and you're waiting for the phone to ring. <laughs> you're trying to develop your own business in what you're calling your 24-hour call centre. Welcome to my home, or as I like to call it, my 24-hour call centre. <laughs> All right, maybe we shouldn't ring out on your phone that you're waiting to ring. What's your name? Ben. Ben. And what about you? What do you do for a living, Ben? I'm a team leader for sales company, basically. Team leader? Team leader. Round of applause, team leader. <laughs> yeah. How, is Ben, how many uh, people are you leading, Ben? At the moment, there's about five or six. But five or okay. six? Yeah. Right. About five or six. That's about five, isn't it? You haven't decided whether one of these people <laughs> is a, as a person. <laughs> <laughs> you would know if it was five or... You're leading. You're a leader of these people, Ben. <laughs> Every time you come in, is it five or six? I don't know. How many people am I leading? All right, Ben, I'm taking your phone. You're an amazing sport. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. All right, um, Ben, he leads five or six people. Um, really, you're a very good sport, Ben. Oh, good, there's no code or anything. <laughs> no, I'm just going to hand this phone uh, to my team, who are going to work their Christmas magic, to enable the phone to send to all. It needs an app, basically. <laughs> Hello, thank you, good one. So you can tell so much, can't you, Ben, about somebody from their phone. Wouldn't it be fun, I thought, for the whole audience, and excruciatingly embarrassing for Ben, if we could all see what's on his phone? <laughs> There was some kind of a device that would enable that situation. Oh! Oh! What's this? <laughs> OK, Ben, so this, it's a bit of a look into the future, really. This is actually the iPhone 18. <laughs> The way things are going, this is how we're going to be behaving. Yeah, I've just picked up the new iPhone, it's amazing, yeah. Yeah, it's like massive queues, but it's huge, it's absolutely huge. I actually like it, I mean, it doesn't fit in my pocket, but I actually like it, yeah. Um, OK, so let's get Ben's phone, and we're going to try and work some magic. Thank you very much. So basically, I'm going to press a button here, and with a little bit, a huge dollop of luck, this might pop up now. This is your life, Ben. <laughs> this is it. This is what goes on, what we got here, then. Oh. Why are you shouting? Tinder. Is, is there Tinder there? Oh, there is a Tinder. I don't know how to work Tinder. I don't know how to work it. How do you do it? What do I do? It's just your head pulsating. <laughs> Ben, are you in are you in a are you in a No, someone's behind me going, no, no. <laughs> ben, are you are you in a relationship? No. You're not in a relationship. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look at your photos. Wait, how'd you get into photos? <laughs> Where are the photos? Photos! There it is! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Last beers before he ruins his life. <laughs> This is fun. You're a bit of a party animal. I like this. Oh, is that, is that you getting married or something? Is that yeah, like a stag party? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's nice and supportive. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gig you went to from a distance. <laughs> this is just a view of a field. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is um, <laughs> the Thames. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you chasing this person? <laughs> oh, goodness. What's happening? <laughs> Back on the 
the streets. I took my time, took my chances. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the pain of the fight. And he dealt to the challenge of his rival. And the left, no survivor. Which is dead in the night. Da -da 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 of the tiger. Oh my God, what's going on now? That's Why are you going into outer space? <laughs> We've been violently attacked. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, this is good. I like a man who takes a photo of a Sunday roast. <laughs> Let's have it. Lots of potatoes, get it in. I've had a busy day, went to the moon, had a bit, did a couple of naked selfies. <laughs> now let's get the carbs in. All right, I'm, I'm so sorry, but this is too funny. I... <laughs> What on earth is going on there? <laughs> can you, if that was your Tinder profile, <laughs> can you imagine the kind of responses you'd get? What, what is that on your face? Is that part of Halloween or something? That was the, yeah, the morning after Halloween. The morning after Halloween. All right, brilliant. Let's play said to all. What an amazing sport Ben is. <laughs> Let's send this message now. What, we, what do I... Messages? OK, here we go. All right. The text we're going to send, Ben, to everybody on your phone is... Would you like... Would... You... Like... To... Come round... On Christmas Day... <laughs> <laughs> ..need to know now. <laughs> as I'm about to order the turkey... <laughs> ..hope you can make it the more the merrier. Let's really push for this. <laughs> Right, OK. Maybe we should... Oh, look, do you have to use these? Recent, frequently used. OK. <laughs> turkey. I'm just going to put turkey. Yeah? All right. Now, apparently, all I do is I press this, and then it comes up centre all, and... Should we send it? <laughs> should we send it, Ben? <laughs> Too late. OK. That is... Gone! <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Ben. We will catch up on all your Christmas Day RSVPs later in the show. OK. I am so excited about my next act. She is a Brit award-winning, multi-million album-selling pop sensation. I love this girl, and I'm so pleased that she's on my show. What an honour. The magnificent Ellie Golding is here!
done. Did you enjoy it? Oh, enjoying the whole performance it, tonight? It was lovely, Michael. It really was. I've done sell-out shows here, of course, to paying audiences. <laughs> How many of you possums paid tonight? <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> I notice there's two empty seats down there. It's terrible. I mean, we all get empty seats, Michael. <laughs> I, I have found them in my audiences, but they're generally prepaid. They're seats purchased by elderly and wealthy people <laughs> in advance, and then they die. <laughs> If I'm honest with you, Jamin, there what? is a reason why these seats are empty. I've been saving these two seats um, for two people, Jamin, who are about to become a very big part of tonight's show. Oh. They just don't know it yet, OK? <laughs> they have actually been set up, and they are having dinner right now across the road in an Italian restaurant, and I think that we can see them now. That's actually across the road from this theatre. Um, so that is, let me tell you, Dean and Dawn Sotnik. Their son and daughter have set them up and, um, well, I'm going to go and get them and we're going to put them in those seats and then we're going to have some fun with them. They, all they know is that they're eating Italian food. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see how that pans out. So I will be back. I'm actually going to leave the theatre. Isn't this daring, Michael? It is daring, daring. David. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be back with these people. OK, bear, bear with me. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we're in the street. Look at this. This is the actual street. It's, it's quiet. All right. Ah, here we are. So here's the restaurant. What is going on here? Oh, now, I believe you might be called Dean. Is that right? That's correct, yes. Oh, and, and, are you Dawn? <laughs> is it Dean and Dawn? Is it Michael and Vicky? Oh, hi. Dean. Well, listen. Oh, hi, everyone in the restaurant. Oh. It's quite it's a very intimate restaurant. Um, oh, sorry no to interrupt, but I'm here for Dean and Dawn. Um, I am. What are you enjoying here? There's a little bit of Parma ham. Oh, oh, well, it's, that, it's that polite last bite, yeah. isn't it? Um, I'll have it if you don't mind. <laughs> Listen, um, I'm actually doing a show across the road, and um, dearest uh, Michael and Vicky have organised a little surprise for you that you're going to actually be in the show. It's taking place across the road at the <laughs> Theatre Royal, Jury <laughs> Lane. The whole audience are actually watching this right now. So all I'm going to ask you to do is if you'd like to come with me, and I'll take you across the road. OK. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, wait, I've got Dean. I've only got Dean. Dawn, darling. Come with me. Dean, take your, pa take your palm of hand. Yes. Can no, don't worry. We're going to cover the bill. E e even if we don't, your show business will always win. All right, I've got Dean. <laughs> you seem like wonderful people, and you deserve a place in my audience. So if you'd just like to step this way. Okay. Here we have. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. Follow me, Dean. But here we have them, Dean and John. This way, this is my audience. <laughs> All right, here we go, Dean and John. There you go, guys. We'd just like to take a seat here, number six, um, number five. Um, we now have a full house, ladies and gentlemen. It's Dean and John Sonny. Bless him. He's still got a little bite of Parma ham. So tell me about why you're in London tonight. Our son lives in London, works yeah. in London, and we would just come up for a meal and a bit of shopping and uh, have a family day. Well, I'll let you calm down and relax. We probably will be chatting to you a bit later on. Okay. We have a full house. Ladies and gentlemen, Dean and Dawn Sotnik are in the house. Have your last bite of Palmer Ham. Go on. Um, ladies and gentlemen, next we have a very exciting television exclusive. He's British, brilliantly gifted, and has just been crowned the winner of America's Got Talent. Please welcome the wonderful Paul Zerdin, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Michael, great to be here. Hello, good evening. Yeah. Uh, tonight, especially for you, I'm going to be doing some ventriloquism for you. 
I'm going to come down into the audience and uh, I need some people to help me up here on stage. I love going into the audience. <laughs> I'm looking for um, a couple that look very much like Dean and Dawn. <laughs> it's Dean and Dawn, everybody. Come and join me, you two. Thank you so much, Dean. Great to meet you, Dawn. And if you just go that way there, OK, Dawn, <laughs> you just go that way there, that's it, take your clothes off, and then uh, we'll see you. <laughs> but, you know, ventriloquism is a very strange thing, and I know a lot of you are sitting there thinking, what a freak, right? And it takes a long time to become a, a ventriloquist. <laughs> now that I can do it, I can't stop doing it, right? Anywhere, anytime, any place. If I see a young mother walking down the street with a baby in a pram and ask her how old the baby is, she says, whatever, three months, then I do this. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please give it up for my two new dummies? It's Dean and Dawn. <laughs> We're going to find you a voice. We're going to start with you, Dawn. A voice that we can, we can have some fun with. OK, what about this one? Are you OK? Yes, I am! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. No, no. I was, only, I was only joking. I'll change it. Yeah, change it now. OK, OK. <laughs> Let's find you a nice uh, feminine voice. What about this one? Hello. You like that? Oh, yes, I like that, yes. Yes, you're okay? I'm gonna talk to Dean now. Good luck. <laughs> Are you okay? Don't touch me. <laughs> Do you mind just leaving us alone for a moment? Pardon? Just leave us alone. Don't go. <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure. I, I don't quite know what you mean. Well, just let me explain. Get lost. <laughs> Maybe I could just, just sit here. Just sit there. Just there. Just there. Look, I pointed. <laughs> I've got the hang of this. I'm going to sit here. Yes, just there. Oh, finally. <laughs> I've got a question. How the hell are you controlling us? I've got this little remote control in my hand here. My goodness, that's amazing. Look at that, darling. Every time he wiggles his fingers, my lips smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, yes. <laughs> well, I must say, I'm enjoying this. I think I might stand up now. Any second now. <laughs> I'm going to take a slightly closer look at the audience. Here I go. That's it. I'm going to walk towards the edge of the stage. Not too close. Health and safety and all that crap. I might wave at the audience now. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Merry Christmas to you all. Darling, while you're there. Yes, darling. Why don't you do your little Christmas party trick? <laughs> yes, that's a great idea. <laughs> it's the one where I turn my back on the audience. Like that. <laughs> I lean forward. And I wiggle my bum. <laughs> All right, sit down now, darling. OK, yes, look at that. I couldn't wait to get back on the seat. <laughs> it's my turn now. <laughs> I'm going to stand up. I'm going to walk behind the stool. This one here. <laughs> I'm going to pick up this lovely piece of mistletoe. Like so. I'm going to walk over to Mr. Zerdin. That's... I'm going to go the long way around. <laughs> I'm going to walk over to Paul Zerdin, the ventriloquist. <laughs> I'm going to hold it above his head and I'm going to give him a big kiss. <laughs> Well, 
Well, listen, I just want to thank you. You've been absolutely, uh, you've been, you've been absolutely terrific. We're not finished yet. You, you're not finished? Oh, no. <laughs> really, I'm going to wind things up. No, no. You see, the thing is, we're Dig Dig fans on the TV show Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> like to recreate that show here tonight. <laughs> Wouldn't we, darling? We certainly would. <laughs> and we'd like to do it naked. <laughs> well, would you please welcome, from Strictly, it's Ali Ash and Jeanette. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this, guys. Uh, I, I believe you're getting married. That's very exciting. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, wish you the best of luck. So, listen, have you had a good time? Oh, yes, I've had a terrific time, even though my eyes tell a different story. <laughs> and, and what about you, Dean? Yes, oh, yes, I've had such a great time. I'm going to have to stand up now and tell you how much of the great time I've had. <laughs> darling, would you join me? I'd love to, darling, yes. So, so, how much of a good time have you had? Well, to be honest, I've had the time of my life. <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh, he's got such firm buttocks. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let me take this off you. Guys, you have to take a bow. You've been truly, truly amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's Dean and Dawn, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Zerdin. Thank you so much for being a lovely audience and have a very, very Merry Christmas. Good night. <laughs> Ben, are you still here? Brilliant. I have your phone. It is in my possession. I haven't looked at it. I've just been handed it. All I can tell you um, is what I've been told, which is there are <laughs> um, 29 messages. <laughs> the message um, was, would you like to come around on Christmas Day? Hope you can make it. OK. Who's Katie Bottoms? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Katie Bottoms? She's a friend from uni. A friend from uni. Is that her real name, Bottoms? Yeah, genuinely, I sound like Bottoms, yeah. OK. And are you quite friendly with her? I was. You were? OK. <laughs> um, I'd like to give a little bit of a status update on your relationship. Sorry, who is this? <laughs> but then, amazingly, two kisses. She just kisses... She just dishes out the kisses. She doesn't even care. I don't even know that geezer. Mwah, mwah. I love Katie Bottoms. All right, what else have we got here? We've got Scott Rowe, Jodie... Uh, who's Jodie? She's one of my best mates. Oh, hey, babe. She's really... Oh, hey, babe. She knows who you are. Hey, babe. Sorry, probably not. Uh, <laughs> me already got a day planned with my gang here. Thanks, though. Triple kiss. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, my God. Who's Dan Henry? He's one of my work colleagues. One of my team. He's one of the six. It could be five or six. <laughs> He's one of the chosen five or six. Um... Oh, dear. Do you know much about Dan Henry? I know enough about him. You know enough about him? I don't want to know anymore. OK, he's actually texted twice. Um, the first one was, Yes, mate. <laughs> Definitely wasn't looking forward to Christmas alone. <laughs> no, it actually gets worse. It gets worse. The second text is, Actually, can I bring my mum? <laughs> has to come. <laughs> Dan Henry could never know this was a joke. <laughs> He's already making plans. <laughs> he can come. 
he can come. Oh my God, he's got, he's got to come. Of course, bring your mum. <laughs> bring the whole fam. In fact, I might send him that picture of your, of your roast potatoes. <laughs> Add photo. I've got to go through the library. Oh, oh, which one is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. I've got it. I've got it. Oh, Dan had shoes. All right, I'm going to send that. Of course, bring the whole fam. <laughs> Here's a photo of some potatoes you can expect when you come round. OK, let's do a few more and then we'll move on. Um, Jody, Nick, um, Nick, Mikhail. Mikhail. Uh, who's Mikhail? He's um, <coughs> our IT director. Oh, OK. He's one of the six. OK. Thanks, Benny Ben. Lovely. <laughs> it's, it's much appreciated, but I've organised something already. Sorry. But you're the team leader, aren't you? And yeah, I am. He's, he's a bit higher than me. Yeah, he's higher than me. Oh. He's being polite, I think. He's a bit higher than, your than you, but you're the team uh, leader. Yeah, he's one of the directors. He's one of the directors. I quit. <laughs> I'm going to put the tate potatoes again. How can you say no to these? <laughs> there you go. Potatoes. <laughs> Nobody declines my tats. <laughs> Nobody declines my tats. Oh, no, it changed it to rats, and I sent it. <laughs> no, I'll change it back. Nobody declines my tats. <laughs> OK. Oh, Charlie Rapson? Yeah, he plays on my football team. Yeah, OK. He's quite... Um, <laughs> it's quite a matter of fact, isn't he? If it's a joke, I don't get it. <laughs> All right, OK. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe what a sport this gentleman is. It's Ben, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. OK. How are you enjoying oh, the fun oh, we've been having tonight? Michael isn't going on for much longer. That's all <laughs> I need to know. I'm enjoying every second of it, though. What a clever little boy you are. <laughs> you know, I'm hungry, though. I'm famished. Luckily, I have an entourage. Do you have an entourage? I do not, sir. No. Well, I do. A pastry chef and a gynaecologist. <laughs> and I want you to meet my little pastry cook now. You've got somebody with you? I brought her with me tonight and you're going to adore her. Let's hear it, Possums, for Nadia Hussain. <laughs> Here she is. Oh! Isn't she <laughs> you darling thing. <laughs> now, you won something very important on a show, didn't you? What show was that? I did. You may not have heard of it. It's called The Bake Off. The Bake Off. Yeah. <laughs> what have you got in that basket? Well, I heard you were hungry, so I bought you some mince, mince pies. pies. Oh, scrummy. But, you know, I'm on a vegan cleanse at the moment. <laughs> yeah, these are, yeah these, are, these are free from everything. Gluten-free, sugar-free, so they'll keep you regular. Well, you, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not... This is a family show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We have to think of the destitute at Christmas. Yes. And there are some destitute <laughs> people here. Folks, down All there. the way yeah. up there. Down there. Down there. Oh, no. Almost stuck to the ceiling <laughs> like little bats. Hello, paupers. Hello, Hi. paupies. <laughs> Listen to their wistful well, cry. We should probably give them some. Michael, you, you don't need any mince pies. Would you, you be so pies? kind as to give the cheap seats a mince pie? Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. right for that? You want some mince pies? Thank you so much, Nadia. Thank you. What a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for thank you for us. Wow. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, he is simply one of the funniest and most beloved comedians around. Fresh from selling out theatres across the land, please give a big Christmas welcome to Ireland's finest. It's the wonderful Dara Brian is here! Good evening, and 
and Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Christmas. It is a delight to be here, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely joy to be for you on this most special of days, uh, an incredible day. A day for us as adults to actually see the world for once through children's eyes. Swimming pools, right? Swimming pools are a good example, right? Of a thing where kids have, to, we've ruined swimming pools as grown ups, and kids have exactly the right. You kids see the swimming pool, they're like, yeah, I can enter at any point, and when I'm in there, I can go whatever direction I want. I'm up and down, I'm left and right, I'm floating, I'm farting, I'm peeing, I'm splashing, I'm doing whatever I wanted to do ever in a zero gravity, frictionless environment. We, in our lanes, slowly advancing on the wall, <laughs> touching the wall, and then turning around and going to the other wall. The prison yard of the swimming pool experience. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, you know, the worst thing between swimming in the lanes if you're in a hotel somewhere and you're having a little swim and on the other side of that row of coasters, there's a family of kids going bananas with delight and you're there going, no, you're using it wrong. <laughs> That's like the worst thing with swimming in a lane is when somebody else joins your lane. Because <laughs> people don't swim at the same speed because otherwise it wouldn't be a sport. So now you're either slowly catching up with them or they are slowly catching up with you. And Jesus, the tension is unbearable. <laughs> I only came in for 30 minutes of cardio. Now I'm in the bloody hunger game. <laughs> Grown-up life is a tiny variation of stuff you don't care about or stuff you wish you didn't have to know. Like the first time any of us learned that trainers, runners, sneakers, whatever you want to call them, are stitched by eight-year-old children in the third world. And you hear this and you go home to your own eight-year-old and go look at the quality of work <laughs> that these children are producing compared to the rubbish you're bringing back from that school. <laughs> a rocket made out of cardboard tubes. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> I can run in these. Do you see that, dear? Yeah. Make me a shoe and I will put it on the fridge. Do we understand each other? <laughs> To bar camping, let me, say, let me say, I'll give you a Christmas story, a genuine Christmas story. I went, uh, a nicer story, I suppose. The, uh, I went about two years ago to buy my wife a Christmas present in one of the major department stores. I mean, legally on these kind of shows, you always have to be really, really careful about naming specific shows. For the sake of argument, we'll call it Selfridges, because it was <laughs> Selfridges. It happened in Selfridges on Oxford Street. And I went into, you know, they've got all these jewellery concessions. And I went into one of those, seemed to buy her a present. And I went, and I'm looking at a necklace and some earrings, and I kind of go, what will I get? What will I, mm, what'll I buy her? Oh. Uh, and eventually I said, I'm going to take the necklace. And I called the woman and I said, I'm going to take the necklace, please. And the woman walks over and she goes, oh, no problem at all. Takes the necklace off me to box it and bag it and get it ready as a gift, right? And I'm standing there looking at the earrings that are left, which are part of the same set. And you kind of go, do you know what? That'd make a nicer gift. If I got them as well, they're part of the same set. And God, it's been a long year of travel and work. That'd be a lovely thing if we could just do that. So I, when the woman comes over again, I go, I'm also going to take the earrings. And not a word of a lie, the woman in the Selfridges jewellery concession looks at me and genuinely goes, and are these for the same lady? <laughs> and suddenly I am transported to a world of sexual sophistication <laughs> that I am ill-equipped to carry off. Your James Bond type would know what to say at this moment, whereas I'm there going, ah, oh, ah. <laughs> mm, could be yours if you play your cards right now. <laughs> and you're going, Jesus, does every department of Selfridges do this? If I'm in the home goods department and I go, ah, well, I know I've already bought the Clairol foot spa, but I'm also going to get the Breville sandwich maker as well. <laughs> Are they just trained to go? And is this for the same lady. <laughs> no, I've a bit in the side, and after we have a shag, she loves a ham and cheese toasty. <laughs> May I wish you the happiest of Christmas. It's been up to July, I do
it's quite extraordinary here. Because we've got these sort of dual, symmetrical Christmas trees, but I don't know if there's actually anything in these. Are these, are these genuine presents, do you think? What's that? Hello. <laughs> really a bit. Hello, darling. It's the Queen. It's the Queen. The Queen is on the phone. I can't talk now, darling. No, no, you are wise to miss it. <laughs> What's going on in Downton? Mr. Carson has done what? <laughs> With a fish fork? <laughs> Me too. I can't talk about it now. I'll have to go. I'll have to go. Bye, darling. Bye. You've got the Queen in your phone I and Nadia is your personal pastry chef. <laughs> Damon, is there any chance I could maybe borrow that phone and we could try and... Well... <laughs> Please, anything you find out must go no further. Nadia, <laughs> take my phone, take it down to the... Is that all right, Nadia? Thank I'll you so much. You now. Oh, She's yes. Coming. Ladies and gentlemen, a very generous Dame Edna Efferich, <laughs> personal friend of the Queen. <laughs> thank you so much, Nadia. <laughs> so nice to meet you. How are you, Nadia? I'm all right. So, listen, I've got questions, if you don't mind, for you after the Bake Off and all the success and everything. Yeah. So, this was watched by how many people? 15.1 million. 15.1 million people yeah. watched you win. And is that the most watched show? I think it's the most watched show this year. Well, you know, it's six days till the new year. Yeah. And I'm sort of rather confident. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thanks for coming and bringing Thank me you. to Minn's phone. Thank you. It's lovely, Nadia! <laughs> All right. OK. Dame Edna, brace yourself, darling. Uh -oh. Yay! Okay, let's have a look at these contacts. Yes. Oh, these are all your. These are all your people. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is an incredible phone book, Dame Edna. Th that's just the B list. <laughs> the Dalai Lama. Yes. You know the Dalai Lama. He rings me for spiritual advice. <laughs> This is amazing. Kim Kardashian, that's an exciting one. Well, you know Kim? She's a friend of mine. She's a lovely girl. Oh. There, there is a but. <laughs> Rather a large one, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, OK. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen. I think this calls for phone calls. What do you think? Yeah! If Nadia is your personal pastry chef, who on earth could be on pizza delivery, boy? Mm. Well. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> it's Gino De Campo! Yeah! <laughs> Do you deliver her pizzas? Oh, I always deliver her pizza this time of the night. Always. Gino, what's underneath that apron? It's very little underneath here, nothing, look! Oh, my goodness, me, Dave I do like him like that. <laughs> Gino, would you like to wish a Merry Christmas? Let me show you the audience. Can you see? Oh, look, it's the Theatre Royal Jury Lane! <laughs> Say hello to pizza delivery boy Gino Di Campo. Buon Natale, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Oh, good <laughs> Lord. <laughs> OK, well, I have to be honest, I did notice when I was going through this phone um, a little name here, Sir Tom Jones. Tom Jones! Now, I am a huge fan of Sir oh. Tom. Let's FaceTime him and see where he might be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tom? Do you imagine that? No, oh, it's, it's Michael McIntyre. You're supposed to be on my show, Tom. Don't worry, I'll be there. Just announce me. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Tom Jones! Baby! <laughs> 
moment here for Ben, please join me on stage. Ben, what an absolute sport. Come on, let's hear it for Ben. This boy's been through it. Oh, thank you so much, the legend. Stay on stage with us for the finale. OK, just stand over here. In fact, take a bow, take a bow. Ben can take a bow. Yes. <laughs> please give it up for everybody who's made it so special. We've had, oh, Dean and John, come up as well. Come on, Dean and John. <laughs> Dean and John, ladies and gentlemen, they were having dinner. We'd just like to stand over here. Thank you so much. <laughs> take a bow, take a bow. OK, from Strictly Come Dancing, of course, we've had Ali Ash and Jeanette. They were here, Ali Ash and Jeanette. Take a bow. Woo! Yes, why not? Oh, what a delight. It was the winner of the Great British Bake Off, Nadia Hussain. <laughs> And of course, the wonderful Mr. Paul Zerdin. What about that, Paul Zerdin? He's a winner. Oh, the truly wonderful Ellie Golding. Ellie, darling. Oh, divine. And please give it up for Dara O'Brien was here. Dara! <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Buckingham Palace, Miss Dame Edna Average. Absolutely fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, playing us out tonight, of course, it's the one and only Sir Tom Jones! <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it goes. Christmas Eve.
Sammy came to say Rudolph, with your nose so bright Won't you guide my sleigh tonight I rain here, loved him I then shot it out 